Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Ethel and Ernest. The reason why I've gone back to watch this and the reason why I'm glad I can finally get around to reviewing it. Well, I'm not glad. Raymond Briggs, the, the man behind this, the legend behind this, the snowman, the snowman and the dog and, you know, uh, the father of Christmas film. Um, sadly passed away a couple of days ago and will always be someone who is iconic. You know, he made one of the greatest Christmas tales of all time. <clears throat> and he brought to life Ethel and Ernest, a story about his parents that was so simple and, you know, straightforward that in theory anyone can make. But because Raymond did it, 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 it drew and millions of people to watch it, you know, top of the charts in the books, and, you know, it was a successful film. And this film is truly a wholesome piece of work that Raymond did. And it was great to see him in the opening intro. And if you go behind the scenes, you could see, you know, Raymond talk. <coughs> and, yeah, ultimately, it was just a brilliant time. So let's dive straight into the review. Spoilers ahead, of course, if you haven't checked it out. I do highly recommend you go check it out. And, of course, I hold... A lot of respect for Raymond Briggs and the work he's done. And he's such an inspiration in the way he created his illustrations and his work. So subscribe and like, and let's talk about a work of art from a guy who will be remembered in our hearts for a long time. Enjoy. <clears throat> so Ethel and Ernest, Ethel being his mother, Ernest being his dad. They meet uh, as she's a cleaner and he's a passing by cyclist going to wherever he was going to. And you see from the start of this film to the end of this film, their entire journey, obviously time skips here and there, with the birth of Raymond, the passing of both Ethel and Ernest, you get to see, you know, them moving to their first house, marriage. And what I love most about this film... <clears throat> Because, obviously, they met in the 20s, the 1920s, and it goes all the way through to 70, I think 70 when they died. Um, You learn about World War II, the whole build-up, and his, his dad's the most interesting person, in my opinion, because he's constantly listening to the radio, he's, li he's reading the newspaper, you know, he hears about the whole world. World War Two stuff, um, the Hiroshima news, about 100,000 people being killed with one bomb. Um. You got to see them at the lowest. The privilege aspect was sending their kid to a private private grammar school. Um, you know how they were building motorways, how they were never a thing. Um, laundrettes coming into it because you got to see at the start of the film how they would dry things by hanging them up, or they would use like a clothes thing where I don't know what it's called. Um, but then that came a thing, and then Raymond's passion for becoming a art teacher. That became something you learned so much. You know, you got to see Chamberlain um, step down when Churchill came in during the war. Um, you got to see things like the meat rations, the cheese rations. Um, you know, Raymond got called to war. I think it was the Korean War. Uh, the, the creation of the phone, the legalization of homosexuality, the first man on the moon. And what I loved about that scene was she went, oh, turn it off, Ernest. And I was thinking... Why the hell would he turn off one of the most iconic moments in hum human history? It's crazy. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm saying. This film covered so much and it was so interesting because it is just watching them live their lives. A huge big factor of it was the war because obviously at the priest off, um, Ethel was daft and dumb at most points. She was like, Ernest would say something like, "Oh, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, or whatever it was, I can't remember the same." Uh, was shaking hands with Hitler, and then she was like, "Oh, we can't be that bad of a person." He's just like, "What?" Oh. But yeah, it was pure. It was it was so wholesome, and she cried a lot for this. By the way, you know, she cried when he got his first haircut. She was crying at the most pathetic of things, and he was the for me. Ernest was the best part about it. He was the heart of the family, the strength of the family, being the milkman. He was building everything. He was doing everything. But again, that was the period. That was the time period. But again, he always had a strong shoulder um, when Ethel died. 
when he was told that if they had any more kids, that Ethel would be killed because of, because of her age. He was always there for Raymond. Um, I just just everything the, the this film felt so perfect of the way we look at life seeing creation happen and happen over and over again you know they talked about television and being um an hour and a half eight and eight, and every night and it was it was always cool to see the reactions to these sorts of things and be like on the telly pictures moving in our house without going to the cinema it was just brilliant from the moment they met to all the development and everything they went through, and to die in the same year, I think he's so emotional and would have hit Raymond so hard. And to say, obviously, he died two days ago and his parents died in the 70s, he has lived 50 years without his parents. It's a huge thing, but you can see where um, a lot of his imagination came from, his creation, you know, the snowman. Um... Well, a lot of his work has female figures in, or you know, obviously Father Christmas is heavily inspired. They're all very similar, you know, the the way he works. It's hard to explain. All his works are very similar. The style of work in this to everything else he's done, and I think this was a brilliant, brilliant, well put together story. And as I said, everyone that worked on this to have Raymond feature at the beginning to see him to do a little sketch and to see that he is obviously responsible for the original drawings in the book and to bring this to life in a film I think is just a credible thing and what I love most as well I want to add this he says you know my parents were nothing special nobody you know out there but to me they were everything it was something like that and I think that puts it perfectly you know nothing crazy happened in this apart from as I said from birth to new house to marriage to death that was their story, and they went through so much together, and they were, it was so incredible to watch. Different views, like one was into Labour, one was into um, Conservative, and they, yes, they, had, they, they, they joked about their different views and different opinions, um, because when Churchill was in charge, there was a meat ration, um, and then when Labour came into charge, there was a cheese ration, so it goes both ways. It's a crazy, crazy world we live in, but these two people right here, Raymond Briggs' parents, showed the world that even with the issues and the, 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 the tests of life, they will always get through them, and, you know, it's just like in modern day, there's always tests you have to get through, but it was, it was brilliant. Yeah, I could uh, I could talk about this film all day. It was just terrific, and I'm going to give it a perfect ten out of ten because brilliant characters, brilliant animation, brilliantly told, and brilliantly well put together by directors, writers, art art team, CI, CGI, whoever and however they put this together, a job well done. Go check it out for yourself. And once again, um, you know, huge respect for the work Raymond did. Can't wait to watch Snowman and Snowman the Dog and Father Christmas in the December period. And maybe we'll do a little rank tier system to tier his four major works in one list to remember one of the greats at Christmas. So stay tuned for more. Hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and as always, let me know down below your favorite Raymond Briggs project. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.